Uh, this one is uh, a tall cooler aiming for silent use. It looks heavy, but if you put, I mean, you take it. Oh, that's very uh, light. Yeah, it's light, much much lighter than your image. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's not really a heavy one because uh, um, this is for silent silent purpose mm -hmm. operation. So the fin gaps actually bigger than normal normal tall coolers. And uh, we also uh, cut off some uh, center part of the fins to decrease the weight and also to decrease the airflow resistance. Because uh, this fan is uh, optimized for fan speed around 600 to 800 rpm. So it's very low pressure condition. So all the things are, are aiming for, uh, I mean, the avoid the, the resistance for the airflow. So you can have a very good uh, performance on the low fan speed. We also put the uh, large uh, extrusion aluminum uh, heating gear. It works for uh, low fan speed condition. And we put a uh, one one twenty fan, but uh, we will offer another set of the bracket for those end users who want a twin fan solution. But because the depth of the cooler is so huge that uh, not everyone can, uh, I mean, have, have a chassis. Uh, chassis space enough for this cooler, so we won't have a twin fan in the package. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not necessary. But a user can option for the second fan. Uh, it's temporary called the uh, HB64 uh, project. The HB is a commercial network called uh, Hyper 612S. Okay. Yeah. So it's what we, uh, with the same family as uh, our 212 Plus. They are all uh, more high CP value. Tau coolers family. And this one is a replacement for our Gemini S. That's the new Gemini? Yeah, the new Gemini. It's uh, a little bit bigger <laughs> and better. Mm -hmm. But the basic uh, concept is the same. It's uh, still got the five heat pipes because uh, you need to handle the 130 watt, 140 watt that the uh, i7 or AMD new CPU uh, I mean, uh, produce. And uh, uh, it, it comes with the 120 fan, but uh, can be optional with the 140. <laughs> and uh, the clearance, front clearance of the cooler is uh, higher. So the, gotcha. yeah, so the re so the re uh, re modules with high heat sink can, can be compatible with this. And this is the uh, is a super super low profile cooler for direct contact heat pipes and uh, a very powerful slim fan. Cool. Very nice. Yeah, if you look at the side, you can find that uh, it's still a traditional U-shape mm -hmm. pipes. So the efficiency is, is high. But to, to make this possible, the, the heat pipe actually lay out in a very strange way. So the, the soldering process is totally different. But we keep the, the full di diameter of the heat pipes usable with the beams. So the performance of the cooler is actually quite nice. And uh, its height is uh, 59 millimeters. So it's meaning that it's actually shorter than the box cooler of LGA 75 Intel CPU. Those are, but uh, I know the those uh, Core i3 or Core i5 mm -hmm. uh, box cooler are so slim that mm -hmm. there is very weak yeah. in performance. So a user might think to use a more uh, better upgrade. But if they use the mini ITX chassis, the height is very constrained. So we try to I mean, make it compatible with most of the mini ITX chassis. Mm -hmm. So we got the mini ITX.